Welcome to STARS SPS tutorial on roof hips. This tutorial will focus on hip input including column spacing, frames, bracing, sheeting, and associated trim. Begin hip pricing input in SPS by first selecting either the Add Building to Project icon or the Modify Building icon in the main menu. Next, navigate to the Geometry screen by clicking the Next button. Click the Next button on the Geometry page. This will take you to the Building Input screen. Select the End Walls tab of Building Input and then select Hipped End Wall in the upper left quadrant of the screen for End Wall B. Note, buildings with hips must have roof slope between 1 on 12 and 6 on 12 and can only be priced in SBS when the building width is less than 100 feet and the end bay is less than 40 feet and symmetrically gabled. Next, under column spacing, you can input your own end wall column spacing by selecting mixed or select standard spacing to allow the system to assign the column spacing. Next, you will want to review the default hip frame settings on the frames tab. Click next to move to that page or select the Frames tab at the top of the input menu. The end wall B or D frames, whichever end is hipped, settings are for the frames in between the hipped corner frames. The end wall B or D hip frame settings are for the hipped corner frames. Click Settings to adjust all frame settings as desired for the project. Now go to the Bracing tab in the main menu. This window is where you can input your desired bracing layout for the building as well as the hipped end wall. Note that there are some bracing limitations with a hipped end wall. No bracing is allowed in the main sidewall end bay with hip. No bracing is allowed in the main roof end bay with hip. If there are three bays or more in the hipped end wall, no bracing is allowed in the hipped corners. And only rods, cables, and portal frames are allowed. Be sure to read any red notes associated with the various input selections. Next, you will want to go to the Roof tab to select a roof panel type. There are several roof types from which to choose for hip roof condition. These include PBR, Batten Lock HS, Double Lock, Super Lock, Ultra Deck, insulated panels including CFR and LS36, or B-Deck for roofing by others. Batten Lock is a good choice for the best look, clean flashing, etc. Double Lock and Super Lock, albeit slightly less attractive, provide higher load capacities. The next tab you will select is Trim. Here you can select the type of end wall trim for your hipped end wall. Begin by clicking on the Hipped Trim button in the middle left of the window. From the Trim pop-up window, Select the type of trim desired from the pull-down menu labeled Trim Type. If gutters and downspouts are selected, there will be additional input. The type and size of gutter is determined by the type and size used on sidewall A, but you will need to input the desired number of downspouts, whether or not to include elbow, and downspout height. If a change is needed for the type and size of gutters for the end wall, Go back to Sidewall A Gutter Input under the Trim Menu tab to make the change. Finally, select the Loads tab. Located at the bottom left on this page is the Point Loads button. You will still be allowed to input point loads on the main building area. Note, point loads are not allowed in the bay with the hipped roof. When input is complete, click the OK button at the bottom of the Loads tab. You can now view your wireframe sketch and see that it reflects the layout for the hipped end wall input. Please note, the sketch now reflects end wall B as hipped. We hope that this tutorial has answered your questions regarding hipped end wall input. For further assistance, please see the SBS help files or contact STAR. Thank you.